this is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, and we're at the closing hours of Health 2.0 at the Santa Clara Convention Center. But I'm really, really lucky that Stina Fate, who's an ophthalmologist, a serial entrepreneur, and the CEO of Althea, did I say it right? Actually, I'm the executive vice president of Althea, and uh Really co-founder of Atir. I'm not the CEO. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have the CEO. He's just an EVP. EVP. Okay, EVP. Oh, only an EVP. And um, we're going to have a really fun talk because what Althea is, is they've developed a 3D Google Glass. Only it's not really a Google Glass. Oh, Tell I, us what you're up to. Yes, actually, uh, it's not a Google Glass. It's, we're doing a lot more. We have a lot more features on a Google Glass. And number one main difference is we, have, we use our two eyes. And Google Glass only use one of our eyes. And that's because we provide 3D augmented reality. And it's not only 3D augmented reality, but it's an interactive augmented reality. And that's the other difference. We basically can reach and interact with the content which floating in front of you in the space. And that's very, very unique. So you're not going to drive with these? Actually, in the future, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're at a healthcare conference, can you tell me uh, when you got involved in designing and developing these glasses? What kind of healthcare applications did you have in mind? Actually, uh, again, uh, the company mind was let's start by solving problem instead of building a cool 3D glass and then realizing who's going to buy it, who's going to use it. And, and being a doctor, I had so many ideas, I had so many problems. I wish I had that when I was a med student. I wish I had that when I started to do my training in surgery. And now it's going to be available. It's and so could I use it, let's go back to the medical school idea. Can I actually use it, if I was a medical school or a resident, to hone surgical skills, or is it really not, uh, is that not a use? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can start by very simple application, like accessing any existing Android data or application, and there are tons of them. Then you can go to 3D more complex application, and there are companies building and developing that, but they don't have the right tool to accessing that. They don't have the right intuitive 3D tool to access, view, and actually interact with this content. You can absolutely use that. They are very comfortable. You can use them, wear them for many hours, which is very unique. They are not going to provide you any headache. They are not going to give you any um, eye fatigue. And that's, we are very proud. I'm very proud of that because I designed it. But we, we are really, these are very important feature that you have to provide to the user. Otherwise, it's going to be another heads up display on the shelf. Nice to have, but nobody's going to use. Right. So why don't we see them? Why don't, why don't you show us what they look like? This is a, you know, a dev kit. That's why it's like that. And uh, has two, as I say, two optics. Okay. They're transparent. That means when I'm going to wear them, actually, I can keep my glasses. And you can go up on top of your glasses. You have a transparent optic. That means I can see the world. I can see you very well. Uh -huh. So you can see me. You, go, you can look at me, and I look normal. Absolutely. Okay. You, can look, you, you look perfect. As, as normal as I Of course, you look perfect. <laughs> now, the, the other aspect is while I'm wearing them, since I see the real world, I can also see on top of the real world, a floating content. And how I'm going to reach that, as you mentioned, I'm not going to touch my glass. I'm going to touch the content. And where is the content? It's here. I'm clicking and opening an application. I can swipe the application. I can zoom the application. If it's a 3D object, I can turn the, I can turn the image very intuitively, exactly if I had a floating heart, a real heart in my hand. If you want to see the other view, you just it. And since we have camera, I can share, share my viewpoint with you. We are so a if surgeon. I have the glasses on, I can see what you're seeing. Oh, or if you have a computer sitting in another hospital, in another office, the other side of the planet, and you want to share, I want your advice, you're going to see what I'm seeing. That's very, very unique while I'm doing my operation. And as you see, the whole visual field down is open which is I can do my procedure, I can see the content, I don't have to change anything, I have, don't have to remove the whole uh, optics. No, it's very comfortable, I can see you, I do my procedure, I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing, and you can tell me, don't do that, this is not the right thing to do, or this is perfect. Are these available now? Do you have customers now? Do you have um, clinical sites that are using them? And, and, uh, and do you have anything that you can say about the utility from the point of view of your customers if you have them? Yes, actually, we, uh, as I mentioned, this is very important for us. We don't want only to do a technology 
you know, looking for a solution. Um, what we have right now is a dev kit. It's available. Uh, we really select the partner. We really go after enterprise and professional application, including healthcare and me medical application. We have ongoing pilot. Unfortunately, I cannot sh share them with you, but we have ongoing pilot. And the product would be ready on the market middle of next year. It's not something in five years. It's not a dream in five or six years. It's middle of next year. We will have our first product uh, for enterprise application, professional application on the market. And so I think we'll close be, by just having you say a word. You mentioned that you're looking for enterprise developers, but is this an, a completely open API where, like with Google Glass, people come in and are developing applications uh, for it, or are you being uh, more selective, or is it some combination oh, of the two? Absolutely. absolutely. It's open. We have API SDK available to the developer. They can use that. It's uh, compatible, that I mentioned, to, to Android. Any developer can use it. It's, it's extremely well-designed SDK by our team, of course, the API, and they can, they can use it, and it's available to, our, to select it. Well, thank you very much. I, I think I, could, uh, I can say that um, we've seen the future, and it's next year, middle of next year. It's fantastic. <laughs> thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. Wow, what a cool glass carass video, the first one. Yeah. Woo! All right, Mark, we're going to start another one today. All right, sounds mm -hmm. good. All right, have fun in town. I will. So what are you making here? I'm making milkless cafe au lait. All right. <laughs> this is the view from the front of our house. Right before you is Cougar Rock itself. This is heading towards the south. Mm, looks good. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, welcome up. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, look at you. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, hey. Hey, come on in. It's an adventure getting up here. Yeah, isn't it though? Okay. This is our view from the top of our property. We call this Future Peak. This is walking down the hill to our house. This is the back. Uh, deck where we like to hang out with friends. <laughs> yeah. Listening now to an investment opportunity. Hey! <laughs> Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg. Cyborg has emerged. <laughs> yes. Wow. What's going on down there? I can't even see. Ah, more humans arriving. Okay. All right. These guys are going to meet. <laughs> Hey. See you guys. All right, take care. Uh, yeah. You're awesome. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks yeah. for coming. Thank you for listening and yeah. helping and all that stuff. See you. Bye-bye. Coming up, Paul. Hey, Zan. Where did you see you again next time? Welcome <laughs> 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 up the hill. You went down and... Yeah, it wasn't so bad That's this all. time. Okay, so, so we're what are we doing? Yeah, well, you know, Google so. Glass has an artifacts in person that you don't notice when you would see videos. Oh, yeah, One I which totally is the way see to myself. See the wow, that's a trip. There we go. This is in Mark's room downstairs. Yeah. You can look. Shane visiting. <laughs> Mirrors everywhere. Hi. Okay, so we're drilling what are we doing here? a hole into what we think is a stainless steel silver plated plate. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cycle is what really loving and natural. Up on the deck now. That sort of runs around doing your to do list every day, forgetting that you're connected to the hole, you know? And yeah. There's the sunset. Yeah. Sent to the. Memory bank. Pretend. <laughs> All right. Travel on through the golden dragon. The emerald one. <laughs> the all seeing eye roll inside. All inside the view. Nice. So you use the bio lube, huh? Okay. The bio -lube. We're good. Using the bio lube. Now we're going to switch bits. Switch okay, bits. Nice. Okay. He did it. We are drilling through stainless steel with silver plating. Oh, what did you have here, my dear? We have some meal, uh, early meal preparations. This mm. is the appetizers before the dinner. We have rice chips. We have yogurt and dill spiced yogurt. And we have tahini and we have hummus. Now, there are seven maps hmm. creation. 
with the seven seas. Hmm. We're going to travel the seven seas. She was born in the South Teresa, the immortal giant. Hmm. The giant. The Avalon's in the center. Go into the center of the island there. That's called an island of unity. <laughs> they exist in the great sea. They're forming now. This is about well, it was like given the like I must see if I'm going to navigate this territory and, and share it. I then you must understand it fully.